right, so I waited five days before I could resume my color studies. And while I was waiting for weekend to arrive, I had a moment to review some old sketches. I picked up the first book that I used for my Sunday sketches. This is actually not a sketchbook. This is a scrapbook that's not meant to be painted on because the paper is so absorbent that when I lay down a water-based media, it sucks it dry instantly that I can't move paint on it. Anyway, I was flipping through these pages and looking at my old sketches from 2016 and it reminded me that before I actually started painting these, I had actually created a drawing of them in a different sketchbook. Let me show you an example. So over here, I would create fully rendered sketch using color pencil. And it's only after I had done this would I then go about to creating the painted version. Now this made me think, why did I do this? Why did I do this extra effort? And it was because at the time in 2016, I wasn't comfortable with painting. So I used the pencil exercise to help me determine the different values that I would use in the painting. And for the same reason, I ended up painting in one color. Actually, most of my Sunday sketches, when you look at them, they're really just a series of tonal value exercises to get me used to, or to train me to get used to painting. Now, creating fully rendered sketches of my paintings seemed like a lot of extra work, a lot of unnecessary work, but actually they're quite helpful, especially when it comes to composing more complicated scenes such as these. I don't know if you've read my comic book, Not in Sleep. These are the thumbnails. They're actually not thumbnails. They're mock-ups, fully rendered, and they appear almost identical to the actual comic book because I basically just created painted versions of my sketches. But when I painted Not in Sleep, I vividly remember because I had created these tonal value sketches, when I started the paint process, it went smooth sailing because all I had to do was copy the tonal values that I had sketched out. So in this panel, I knew that I had to paint this area here a lot darker than this area here. And it was also because of these tonal value sketches that it made it easy for me to keep moving forward with this project. It made it a lot more straightforward. And so I thought, okay, let me apply the same approach over here with the seascapes because I'm not yet comfortable painting them. So in this video, I'm creating thumbnails of different scenes with sailboats in them and I'm creating a stylized or simplified version of the photo references that I've gathered to serve as a blueprint for when I start painting. Also by doing these thumbnail sketches, it's giving my hands a little warm up. So in here, I'm composing the illustration in a way that simulates drawing with a paintbrush. I tried to strip down the photo references into its essence because the photos have a lot of visual information in them that's unnecessary to the composition. And also the photos don't really have well-defined outlines and so I tried to simplify the different elements into basic shapes to make it easier to translate into an impressionistic painting. So in the next video, we'll see how I ended up translating these sketches into gouache.